the activate HTTPS feature, it really only matters if you have an SSL or if your site is secure. Equid processes all the transactions on their end and is processed securely. So if you get an SSL, it isn't necessarily going to make your store more safe because your store will already be safe. If anything, it's just going to give your customers peace of mind to see the little padlock in the browser. The store located below 500 pixel toggle feature was created because on my site I had a problem with the browser scrolling to the top part of the widget on every page it was clicked on. This was a problem because I have a menu that's pinned to the top. And so when this feature is automatically turned on, this is what would happen. Every time something was clicked, the page would scroll down to the top of the widget. Whoops, I have this set in Russian right now. Sorry about that. So, as you saw, it would treat it as the top part of the it would treat the widget as the top part of the browser. So, I turned the feature off and I didn't know why Equid had even done it in the first place. Until someone created a store that was located further down the page. So when you turn this feature off, this is what happens. It makes it so that when somebody clicks on anything on the store, the browser shoots back to the top of the page. That's equally annoying for very different reasons. So basically, if you have a store that's located below about 500 pixels, or if you don't want the widget to be treated as the top of the browser, then leave this feature unchecked. The remove breadcrumbs feature, the open store in category feature, and the continue shopping redirect are usually used at the same time. And the reason why that is, is because Equid is set up in a way where you can create multiple categories and treat each of those categories as entirely different stores, all under one account. When you have these activated and you find the category number that you want to use, you put it in the open store in category, and then if you want to set it up so that the continue shopping redirect goes back to the category that the store was opened under, then you just put that category number inside here. So, this is then what happens. So there are no breadcrumbs, and then whenever you click continue shopping, no matter where you, whoops, no matter where you click continue shopping, it will go back to the category that the store was opened in. And so when you use these three features at the same time, it makes it so that the user couldn't click on a different category. They couldn't go to a different part of the store. So you can have entirely different stores. Remove in stock label is basically for anybody that has a store full of downloadable items because those can't go out of stock. And so all that it does is usually there is a green label saying in stock. It just gets rid of that. 